Hello folks, this is Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing here in Dallas, Texas. The title of this video is a car soap that's better than Chemical Guys Clean Slate and Adam Strip Wash. Let me first start off by saying I am not trying to bash Chemical Guys or Adams. They both make decent products. I use some of their products, it's just fine. But when I look at Clean Slate in general, when I look at Adam Strip Wash, we have to remember Chemical Guys Clean Slate is about $8.99 for 16 ounces. What does that translate to? Is that 50 or 60 cents an ounce? If we look at Adams, it even gets worse. They sell it for $14.99 for 16 ounces. That's about 90 cents an ounce. Folks, I've been using this product. I showed this product before on, with a foam cannon, foam cannon and its ability to be able to foam on the car. This is Purple Power Heavy Duty Premium Vehicle and Boat Pressure Wash Concentrate. What's very interesting about this car soap here, or boat wash, or RV wash, how whatever you're trying to wash, or I should use the word clean, because this is not pH neutral. This soap here, right out of the bottle, has a pH rating of 10. It's not pH neutral, it's a pH rating of 10. It's going to be able to cut through grease and grime. It leaves no sort of protection behind. So if you're using Chemical Guys Clean Slate or Adam Strip Wash to remove some waxes and sealants off the car and also get ready to be able to clay your vehicle or do some type of paint correction or apply a new layer of wax, folks, this stuff right here is $7.84 for a gallon of it. That comes out to six cents six cents per ounce compared to chemical guys clean slate compared to adam strip wash purple power is almost giving this stuff away and it has a ph rating of 10. it is incredibly slick if you had this stuff if you shook this container it's almost like maple syrup that concerns me sometimes when i'm talking about a wash or a cleaner that has the ability to clean the paint. Will it leave any type of residue behind? The, the, the answer is no, because something that's really slimy, slick, almost feel like oil in the hand, can be a little bit, <laughs> excuse me folks, can be a little bit of an aggravation because it won't rinse freely, it won't get off the car. Again, this leaves no protection behind. That's gonna be kind of crucial here in a minute when I talk about this. I have one gallon of water in that bucket and I put, I think, two or three ounces of the, the purple power wash in it. That's about 12 or 18 cents. Folks, when I put my hand in this water, which has a tremendous amount of foam, and I rub my fingers together, this is incredibly slick. This almost feels like oil on the hand, which is really, really, really great. Not only do I want the, 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 the soap to be able to clean the paint, remove stuff that it can't remove with like a pH soap, but it's incredibly slick. I'm not gonna have any issues with scratching and swirling if that's important to you. I also want to show you once again what I have is a foam cannon. Some of you guys like to foam the car first. Again, this is pH rating of 10. A lot of us would take our favorite car soap, maybe put some APC in it, or you can buy Chemical Guys, what is it, Citrus Gloss and Wash, that's like $36 a gallon, but you got to use three or four ounces to be able to get a pH rating that can help you strip waxes and sealants, that's expensive. Inside this foam cannon, I have three ounces of the product. That's 18 cents. Watch its ability to foam. Say you want it to foam first, then take your bucket. You want a lot of lubricity and foam on the surface. Watch this stuff with just three ounces in the cannon. Also also remember, I am just using a 1500 PSI power washer from Greenworks. If you have a power washer that's stronger, more pressure, more volume of water, you'll get better foam. If I actually touch the surface of this paint right now, it is incredibly slick. That foam is kind of, it's doing the best it can like any other foam cleaner through a foam cannon. Because it's not pH neutral, it is trying to break down some of that grease and grime. I'm still gonna have to go in mechanically and I'll take my wash mitt that's in the bucket and I'll simply go over this paint back and forth real nice. Again, the thing that concerns me is when I use a paint, when I use a wash or a car soap or a car cleaner that's got a lot of slickness to it, I almost get concerned it won't rinse freely like it wants to hang on the panel. This stuff will rinse off with no residue like a breeze. It's amazing. Let me just clean this one panel and then I'll rinse it off.
just to kind of give you guys the effect of how this rinse is. Again, this is six cents an ounce. It's almost like Purple Power is giving this stuff away. I am convinced after using it for several months, about three or four months now, that any professional detailer that's doing boat or, or boat detailing where you want a soap that can really clean the hull, you want a soap to clean RVs with, this stuff is exceptional. Let me rinse it off. What's really nice about this stuff, it smells like cherries. That's kind of a nice added bonus to it if that kind of floats your boat. But after using this soap, which has the ability, like a you know, pH neutral soap is only gonna go after anything that's loose upon the surface of the paint. It can't get, any, can't get rid of anything else. There is stuff on your paint, stuff like motor oil, transmission fluid, brake fluid, industrial chemicals that come off tankers and drip on the road and you drive through the rain it gets on the car a pH neutral soap isn't going to get that off let's say you wanted to go clay the car now after using a pH neutral soap what you'll see when you go to use your clay bar yes you'll pull up contaminants you'll see those little contaminants stuck inside your clay pad you'll also see if you're using a traditional clay bar it will start to stain it will turn brown what that is folks is because you did not clean the surface of the paint thoroughly you, you use a pH neutral soap, you're now pulling all, all that stuff off that's on the paint that could have come off with a better wash, could have rinsed off the car with a better wash that wasn't pH neutral and now it's stuck on your clay bar. It starts to stain the clay bar and break the clay bar down. So this is a great soap if you want to use before you clay. A great soap if you want to apply a new wax and sealant and remove the old wax and sealant. A great soap if you're going to be doing some type of paint correction. This stuff is so cheap that if you wanted to put five ounces in the foam cannon, it would still be cheaper than Chemical Guys Clean Slate or Adam Strip Wash by the ounce. You can do it. This stuff, to me, folks, is amazing. If you have R if you have RVs or boats, let's be honest, most people just protect their RV probably once a year, put a wax and sealant on it. If I get called out to come to come do an RV, I used to have to take like my, my favorite car soap, mix, mix some uh, super clean inside of it to give me some cutting power to scrub the side of that RV. Now I don't have to. If I want to apply a little bit of super clean in this, I can. This stuff is so cheap that it, it, it changes the game for me in a way that I'm spending less money. If you guys can kind of figure that out in your head. This is an amazing soap. If you have four wheelers, you have golf carts, you have lawn and garden equipment that you want a soap that can really cut through grease and grime and you can go in and agitate and rinse freely, doesn't leave any residue behind, that's great. The fact that this doesn't leave any protection behind, it's less I have to take off if I'm going to do paint correction. If I used a pH neutral soap that has glossing enhancing agents, that's on the panel. Now I clay with a lubricating type of lube uh, for clay bar. That's leaving polymers and synth synthetics on the panel. I gotta try to get all that off before I do paint correction. This just makes it so much easier. I wanted to share it with you folk. At six cents an ounce, you can't go wrong. Readily available at Walmart. Think some nappers carry it for $7.84 for a gallon of it. It is, in my opinion, if you're looking for a great strip wash, you're looking for a wash that actually cleans the paint, this stuff is all over the place. It blows away Chemical Guys Clean Slate. It's incredibly slick and lubricating on the panel. If you want more lubricity, you can do it. You can put more ounces in it and you're still ahead of the game. I love you all, just wanted to share that with you. Folks, when you read this bottle, you'll notice it says six ounces per gallon. That's if you're running it through a power washer because this is actually made for a power washer. That's the way they designed it. So you'd have a bucket next to the power washer with a siphon tube. And because this stuff has to go through the pump of the power washer, through the hose, out to your lance, the dilution ratios are high, so you have some foam at the end of that process. Hopefully that makes sense as well. But when you're using it in a bucket or a foam cannon, you're getting extreme power right available to you at a pH rating of 10. Safe on plastic, safe on rubber trim, safe on the clear coat, and rinses absolutely residue-free. Love you all. Just wanted to share that with you. Take care.